Something I haven't stressed enough, and I want to make sure I make this point, because it's very important. For true art, you're probably getting tired of seeing these, but this is again the triangle, the artist, the subject, and the uh, connoisseur, or uh, aficionado, whatever we call them here. Now the thing that's really important here is that each, each one of these components must be independent. That's the key. Independent. It's just like your heat, oxygen, and fuel for the fire. Oxygen is independent of heat and fuel. Fuel is independent of heat and oxygen and so on. They survive on their own. And that's what we have here. The artist and the subject and the connoisseur are independent of each other. As we have here, the artist, the gallery, and the collector, they are codependent. They depend on each other. The artist depends on the gallery. He depends on the collector. The collector depends on the artist and depends on the gallery. The gallery depends on the collector and depends on the artist. You see, it's a circle. They depend on each other. So if you're a, if you're a, a commodity artist, you're going to be dependent on these other three, two people. And that is the big difference, and I have to stress that. That is very important. In true art, the artist is totally independent. He does not need any of these other two to be an artist. He works with the subject. But the subject is independent of him. The subject lives quite alone apart from that. Nature or whatever is all apart from that. Where you have here, the artist, sometimes the artist is the subject. Or it's in, in the case of abstract art, the artist selects the subject within himself. It doesn't really matter. He's not independent. Independent. He is totally dependent on these other two factors. Because that's where the money comes from. Up here where you have no money, then everyone can be independent. You don't want to be dependent on a, on a connoisseur to decide whether you should be an artist or not. You make those decisions on your own. And what subject you choose, that's your decision. Independently of these other two. So you have to be careful what you select, because you're selecting it for yourself. So I want to make sure that, that's what you, that you understand that, that you see that there is a dependency down here on these commercial commodity arts. And that's the best reason I can think of to not be involved in this. Because you can't be free. Up here you're free. Of course, being free, there's a lot more of a burden on yourself up here. Because you don't have anyone to support you. You're on your own. You have to select the subject. You have to decide what kind of artist you're going to be. And you have to do it alone. You're like a monk. But the rewards are far greater up here than they are down here. Here you might have some instant gratification with, with money and fame and stuff, but that's not going to last. What good is that when you're in the grave? It means nothing. What kind of art you produce, that's what means something. 
Okay, well, I just wanted to make sure we understood that. So that from now on, that might clear that up so you know what you're getting into because art is not an easy thing to get into and so it's not an easy thing to be an artist. Particularly at these times, in our country, the world we live in at this point, where money means everything and uh, nothing, uh, nothing else counts for much. So that's why we have to work hard and be independent up here and work hard because future generations will see that we, w we continued to be true to, our, to art way back here when nobody was paying any attention, nobody cared. They will eventually. Human as humanity involves. Okay. That's all for today. Go to my website, send me an email. I'll see you next week.